Alright, so this video is to inform everybody, mainly 4G Eclipse owners, but this really goes out to anybody that has a car that wants an intake, short ram intake or cold air intake. I'm going to talk about why you probably don't want the short ram intake. And yeah, so first I'm mainly going to focus, like I said, on the 4G Eclipse, which has like what right now has the K&N intake and the engine intake, and that's basically it. They had an AEM, but that's discontinued and no longer available. Good luck finding those. Um, let's get right into it, though. A uh, little backstory: I used to have the KNN short ram intake for about like two years, maybe three, and then recently, for about less than a year now, I have I have the uh, cold air intake, uh, in gen cold air intake. Let's just move over. The problem with the short RAM intake, honestly, this is the AEM intake. I didn't find a good picture that was like not black and white for uh, the KNN. But I had a KNN and it basically looked just like this on the right, only that this uh, air filter was a giant red one instead. And the tube was actually a little thicker and red also. <laughs> yeah, and then on the left, I got this one's actually like almost exactly like the one I have but my engine I got the the black all black I didn't want the polished silver or whatever and eh, I didn't really care about the color honestly but the problem with the 4g clips and this short ram intake but the problem with the short ram intake as you can see right here on the right side and my car, when uh, I did it, I, I had it just like this too, where we don't have anything to protect it right next to the engine, right? Usually if you have a short ram intake, um, you want to have like a little cover here to at least block out the heat a little bit. Um, ultimately though, it's still going to get hot in there, you know. That's what happens, your engines run hot, and then it's just, as soon as it heats up, and you step on the gas all that hot air is gonna go straight into that air filter right back inside that engine and you're actually losing a lot of horsepower um, I did notice after getting the engine air intake put on that from 80 to 100 I thought my car was just like slow I thought that once it reached that my car just starts slowing down you know it's not that quick anymore until I upgraded to the engine cold air intake right here on the left I immediately noticed that once I when I pull from 80 to 100, it still feels like it's pulling, you know, and that's definitely I'm 100% sure it has to do with the fact that the short ram intake was getting in too much hot air, and it felt awesome, honestly. You know, um, they were both. Honestly, I don't remember how much I got the short ram intake, but I did do a quick Google search. They both go both cold air intake and short ram intake for around $400. So if you're going to pay $400 to lose performance, you're a dumbass. Uh, definitely, like the only plus side from the short ram intake that I had was that it just sounded cooler. And even with the with my current intake, the, the cold air intake, I will admit that the short ram intake sounds cooler. Like the induction noise sounds like more like I don't know how to explain it, like, it just sounds like it's ramming air into the engine, you know, like, like ramming in as much as it can, and then, uh, the cold air intake still sounds like it's ramming in air, but it seems like it's, I don't know how to explain it, it's not as loud, basically. Yeah, here's something, though, that you could do, right here on the left, this is something I should have done, but I didn't do, where you keep the scoop, and this little plastic guard to protect it from the heat. The only problem is I feel like it'll still probably get hotter. Then on the picture on the right, this is actually a KNN cold air intake that they have. Um, I did not purchase it from KNN just because I didn't. And as you can see, it goes down underneath the headlight, which is just like the engine air intake. And basically that's what you want because if you guys didn't know, which you should know, the colder air is always on the ground, like near the floor. And especially in an engine bay where when the engine's on and it's hot and as you run, that whole engine bay starts getting warm, you know. What happens with warm air, it rises. So if you have your cold air intake 
on the ground, there is no way for the heat to rise onto the cold air intake. So you'll always be getting fresh air. Um, with that being said, yeah, in my opinion, cold air intake is the way to go. K and N. Ah, that's all right. I'm going to show some sound clips. I don't know when, either at the beginning or at the end of the video. Where I'm gonna, I'll just show you guys. Like, I have one old clip of the short ram intake. Go! And then, uh, yeah, I got a couple videos about the engine, cold air intake. cleared up a few questions for you guys if you're still wondering in 2022 what to get you know but like I said you know it's for like a 4G clips owner so 